Hi, this is Caleb Gedkin. Today I'll be giving you a list of 15 Bible verses about marriage. Let's pray before we get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit and being Lord of our lives and Savior of our lives. Please show us what you want us to learn and apply it to our lives if it's in your will. Heavenly Father, I pray amen. Let's get started. Number one. He gave names to all the livestock, all the birds of the sky, and all the wild animals. But still there was no helper just right for him. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. While the man slept, the Lord God took out one of the man's ribs and closed up the opening. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib, and he brought her to the man. At last, he, the man exclaimed, this one is bone from my bone and flesh from my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken from man. This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife. And the two are united into one. Genesis 2, 20 through 24. Number two. Joash did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight throughout the lifetime of Jehoadiah, the priest. Jehoadiah chose two wives for Joash, and he had sons and daughters. Second Chronicles 24, 2 and 3. Number three. The man who finds a wife finds a treasure, and he receives favor from the Lord. Proverbs eighteen twenty two. Number four. Fathers can give their sons an inheritance of houses and wealth, but only the Lord can give an understanding wife. Proverbs 19, 14. Number five. It's better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Proverbs 21, 9. Number six. Here's another thing you do. You cover the Lord's altar with tears, weeping and groaning, because he pays... No attention to your offerings and doesn't accept them with pleasure. You cry out, Why doesn't the Lord accept my worship? I'll tell you why, because the Lord witnessed the vows you and your wife made when you were young. But you have been unfaithful to her. Though she remained your faithful partner, the wife of your marriage vows. Didn't the Lord make you one with your wife? In body and spirit, you are his. And what does he want? Godly children from your union. So guard your heart. Remain loyal to the wife of your youth. For I hate divorce, says the Lord, the God of Israel. To divorce your wife is to overwhelm her with cruelty, says the Lord of heaven's armies. So guard your heart. Do not be unfaithful to your wife. Malachi two thirteen through 16 Number 7. Large crowds followed him there, and he healed their sick. Some Pharisees came and tried to trap him with this question. Should a man be allowed to divorce his wife for just any reason? Haven't you read the scriptures? Jesus replied, They record that from the beginning God made the male and female. And he said, This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife, and the two are united into one. Since they are no longer two but one, let no one split apart what God has joined together. Then why did Moses say in the law that a man could give his wife a written notice of divorce and send her away, he, they asked. Jesus replied, Moses permitted divorce only as a concession to your hard hearts, but it was not what God had originally intended. And I tell you this, whoever divorces his wife and marries someone else commits adultery, unless his wife has been unfaithful. Matthew, tw Matthew 19, 2 through 9. Number 8. But Jesus responded, He wrote this commandment only as a concession to your hard hearts. But God made them male and female from the beginning of creation. This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife. And the two are united into one. Since they are no longer two but one, let no one split apart what God has joined together. Let, later, when he was alone with his disciples in the house, they brought up the subject again. He told them, Whoever divorces his wife and buries someone else commits adultery against her. And if a divorce, woman divorces her husband and marries someone else, she commits adultery. Mark 10, 5 through 10. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 1 through 40 on your own time. Number 10. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable, and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. 
Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7, number 11. Don't team up with those who are unbelievers. How can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? How can light live with darkness? What harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? How can a believer be a partner with an unbeliever? 2 Corinthians 6, 14 and 15. Number 12. And further submit to one another and further submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. For wives this means submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For a husband is the head of his wife, as Christ is the head of the church. He is the Savior of his body, the church. As the church submits to Christ, so you wives sh should submit to your husbands in everything. For husbands, this means love your wives just as Christ loved the church. He gave up his life for her to make her holy and clean, washed by the cleansing of God's word. He did this to present her to himself as a glorious church, without a spot or wrinkle or any other blemish. Instead, she will be holy and without fault. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as they love their own bodies. For a man who loves his wife actually shows love for himself. No one hates his own body but feeds and cares for it, just as Christ cares for the church. And we are members of his body, as the scriptures say, A man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife, and the two are united into one. This is a great mystery, but it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. So again I say, each man must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. Ephesians 5, verses 21 through 33. Number 13. Give honor to marriage and remain faithful to one another in marriage. God will surely judge people who are immoral and those who commit adultery. Hebrews 13, 4. Number 14. In the same way, you wives must accept the authority of your husbands. Then even if some refuse to obey the good news, your godly lives will speak to them without words. They will be won over by observing your pure and reverent lives. Don't be concerned about the outward beauty of fancy hairstyles, expensive jewelry, or beautiful clothes. You should clothe yourselves instead with the beauty that comes from within, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. This is how the holy women of old made themselves beautiful. They trusted God and accepted the authority of their husbands. 1 Peter 3, 1-5 Number 15 In the same way you husbands must give honor to your wives, Treat your wife with understanding as you live together. She may be weaker than you are, but she is your equal partner in God's gift of new life. Treat her as you should, so your prayers will not be hindered. 1 Peter 3, 7. I hope these Bible verses were helpful and you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think, learned, or any questions you have in the comment section below. Please be polite and respectful. God loves you and I love you too. Bye.